everyone. A warm welcome to you all. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about cluster validation. So as you know, clustering is nothing but grouping the data points, right? So we use clustering algorithms to group the similar data points and to form uh, groups, right? With those similar data points. Now, when a data set is given, where we need to group the similar points or similar, let's say, uh, if it's a customer data set, where we need to find the similar customers and we wanted to group, uh, put them in a uh, single group, right, or clusters. So when we give a data set to a clustering algorithm, it is going to group the uh, data points based on the similarities right? How the features are similar with uh, each data point, it finds that and it will put them in a same group if they are similar to each other. So there will be clusters where within the cluster, all the data points will be similar, right? And with the other cluster, the data points will be dissimilar to each other. That's a general thing in clustering. So when we have different uh, clusters, so within this cluster, so basically we have three clusters here, right? Within this cluster, these data points will be similar to each other. But if you see, compared with this data point of one cluster, and if you take this data point from other cluster, this will be dissimilar to each other. And hence they are in different groups or different clusters, right? And this is how basically the clusters has to be formed. When we say grouping, the basic requirement is that all similar points should be within the cluster and the dissimilar points should be in other clusters, right? Now, based on this, we need to validate our clustering algorithm. So when any clustering algorithm forms the clusters, how we will validate that algorithm or how we will validate those clusters, whether they are the proper clusters or not, whether the data points are grouped in a proper uh, cluster or not, whether have we got any wrong data points in the clusters, so all this we need to check. And this is what cluster validation is, right? So cluster validation is nothing but we are measuring or quantifying the goodness of the clustering structure. Right. So you can validate a clustering algorithm using internal cluster validation or we can use external cluster validation. So what is this internal cluster validation and external cluster validation? So let's say that when we try to validate the clusters or the clustering algorithm without referring any external information or external data, okay? So as I told, when we say proper clusters, then the distance between the data points within the cluster should be less. Only then they are considered as similar, right? If they are similar, obviously the distance between the data points within the cluster will be less. And the distance between one data point from one cluster to the data point in other cluster will be more, right? This distance will be more and if you take within the cluster, the distance between the data points will be less. This is, this is the basic requirement or basic 
condition uh, when the clusters are formed, right? So here I'm not going to refer to any external data to validate the clusters. So internally, I'm just checking without using any external data. I'm checking whether how the distance is within the cluster and how the variation is within with other clusters. So this kind of validation is called as internal cluster validation. So for example, we have a done index. We have a sell out score. These are all some of the example well these kind of uh, validation techniques tells that uh, inter cluster distance should be inter cluster means the distance between two clusters should be maximum and intra cluster sorry uh, uh, inter cluster means within the cluster and inter cluster means the distance between one cluster and the other cluster. The data points, the distance between the data points of one cluster to the other cluster is called as inter-cluster distance. And intra-cluster means the distance within the cluster. So the, it says the intra-cluster distance should be minimum and Intercluster distance should be maximum. If we are able to achieve this, then we have formed a proper clusters. So when we do this kind of validation, this is called as internal cluster validation. But in case of external cluster validation, we are going to refer to the external data to check how good the clusters are. Let's say when you have labels, and you have a model models cluster labels the actual labels right and you have uh, the models label for each cluster so based on that if you try to refer so you are referring to the external data here right so this kind of validation to see whether the clusters are properly formed or not. So how many wrong data points we have in uh, each cluster. So that you're referring to, to check that you're referring to some external data, right? So this kind of validation is called as external cluster validation. So in these ways, you can validate or you can evaluate your clustering algorithm and sometimes they are also used to, to compare between uh, different clustering algorithms. So let's say you have k-means, you have used uh, db scan, uh, you have used uh, hierarchical clustering. So you are using different kind of algorithms here and if you want to compare between them then you can use these kind of um, techniques. Right, these kind, these type of validations you can use to check the goodness of the clustering structures. Right. Thank you.